So, Trump held a social media summit. And he had a long speech. Some things were off the cuff, some things were were read. But he actually does a lot better at that than I than I ever thought he would, honestly. But during his speech, he has some halfway decent things to say here and there. But then you get to around the 45-minute mark, and he says this. See, I don't think that the mainstream media is free speech either, because it's so crooked, it's so dishonest. So to me, free speech is not when you see something good and then you purposely write bad. To me, that's very dangerous speech, and you become angry at it. But that's not free speech. Now, our current media, in its current form, does kind of suck. Our mainstream media kind of sucks. Something needs to be done about it at some point. I think if, I think we should be forcing media to state their biases. If they're going to be biased, then they have to state their biases. You know, and if they claim to be balanced, um, there needs to be some reasonable way of measuring whether they're actually balanced or not. And then there's also the calls that sometimes have to be made when there's a choice between giving into conspiracy theories and ideologies or believing in science, right? Sometimes you have to make a call, you know? And what's sad is... Uh, Making a call in that area will be looked at as being political versus just trying to side with science. But, and you know what? That sort of that sort of phenomenon can happen on on either side. So, I'm not trying to say it's all one sided that way. Um, the left certainly has things that they're not being exactly that scientific about, and it's stuff that I don't really want to talk about in this video. But I also believe that in order to be able to label themselves as news, as a news channel, they have to come to certain standards. You know, they have to at least be telling the truth as much to the best of their knowledge. And if they're not, then they're going to have to be labeled as entertainment or even conspiracy entertainment. Literally have to have that in their name if that's the kind of stuff they're going to be pushing forth, right? But I, I feel it's very important to take note of what Trump has said here in this clip that I supplied. He doesn't view a number of things as free speech. Oh, it's dangerous speech. So now he's created a whole new category of, of, of a type of, of speech, right? A new label for a type of speech that we want to ban. Oh, no, don't call it hate speech. Don't call, no, no, dangerous speech. By saying something is not so good even when it is. Well, sometimes some of these things can be subjective. I mean, if you're talking about how the economy is doing right now, sure. You'll, you'll get people to admit that, too. They'll try to say, oh, it's because of this and this and this and nothing that he's doing. Okay, fine. But, I mean, some people give bad reviews on Yelp for a place that almost everyone loves. And they'll be, and you know, to them, the things that they're complaining about are valid, even though other people may not have experienced that. Most people, I think, are the most pissed off that a Biff Tannen got elected. Someone with that type of mentality. But people are indeed wanting to blame him for everything bad that happens.